Hey, it's Tom Gallagher, and this is another installment of the story behind the car, and that's Jerry's 1957 Chevy Napco. Went over to the C10 Shindig in Independence, Missouri. There are the trophies. Jerry took top 10, and, and what a truck it is. Sorry about the volume. Unfortunately, Jerry's mic, I don't think, was working very well, but enjoy the video nonetheless. Hey, it's Tom Gallagher. We got another one for you. We're at the C10 Shindig in Independence, Missouri, and check it out. A 1957 Chevy 3100, and can you go ahead and introduce yourself and tell us about your truck? Yeah, my name is Jerry McPhee uh, from Maysville, Missouri. This is a Chevrolet 3100 283 V8 with a Napco four-wheel drive. Uh, we got this big about 15 years or so, 10 years now, and it's, it's all trailer green, but I'm driving out, it's good in all the car shows, and it's, uh, it's an eye catcher, so. And you were saying it's a pretty rare truck because it's yeah, a Napco? Yeah, with the uh, Napco four-wheel drive, this thing sure makes it a rarity, so. Yep, and uh, 1957 Chevrolet didn't build a four-wheel drive. So you bought the pickup, and they sent it to Napco Industries in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Okay. Yes. And you said you've had it for 15 years? Yeah, we probably had it for 10 or 15. Yes. So they set aside the future for about a decade before we got it. Yeah. Have fun with it. So. And do you mind if I open the door? Yeah, go right ahead. <coughs> and what drew you to the truck? Oh, I just, I love pickups. You know, yes. You go to any car show, and there's not very many pickups at all. And, and, uh, it's just fun. People enjoy it, and it's a good time. And I knew a little bit about Napco, but I didn't know... Hey, you were saying that it's a, uh, I always thought it was a dealer option that the dealer would put it on, but you were saying yeah, that they would send yeah. it to Napco. Yeah, you uh, bought the pickup and then they would send it to Napco. So. Yes. Yeah. Very nice. And what engine do you have in it? 283 V8. And a you might. A lot of these pickups have six on them. Yes. Yeah, my 61 had a 235. And it has the oil bath. Yep. It's not a speed demon, but <laughs> <laughs> three speed or four speed? Four speed. Four speed. Yep. So I don't see a brake master cylinder. Is it? Well, underneath the uh, floor mat, there's one. Okay. That's where it's, uh, it's uh, not where it's convenient to get to. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I had a 36 Ford, and, and uh, the battery and the master cylinder was down below, and yep. interesting how they uh, evolved, yep. made it so much nicer. How many miles are on it? Uh, no clue. Yeah. No clue. I love the turn indicator here. It's great looking light. And on the four-wheel drive, is it? Do you have to lock in the front hubs, or yeah. Yeah? yeah? And I love the hubcaps. Yeah. Similar, uh, 61, 60 and sixty-one had a similar hubcap. And this uh, stick over here is the uh, four-wheel drive. Okay. So it's kind of right there in the way of the passenger, but and of course, you know, in fifty-seven people weren't as big as they are now yes now do you, did you uh, or do you lock it in oh yeah we, and do you lock in the four-wheel drive and then put it in gear or do you put it in gear and lock yeah put it in gear and get it rolling then we just shove her all the way forward to the dash and that's four low yeah so it's in two wheel drive now Well, thank you so much for showing us the truck. 
Beautiful, beautiful truck. Thank you again.